Hello friends. So let us discuss one of the problem from lead code. The problem name is restore IP addresses. So the problem goes like this that you are given a string S containing only digits. Okay. Return all possible valid IP addresses that you can obtain from S. They can return in any order. Cool. So now what is a valid IP? Consisting of exactly of four integers. Each integer is between 0 to 255 and separated by a single dot and they cannot have a leading zero that's the whole uh valid ip as you can see so these are the two valid ips these are the valid ips and so on now uh what you can see here is that the length of s is very large like you might think okay i have to make these ips but uh the length is very large uh, how can i use that utilize that but what you can observe here is that even the length is large it is given to you that uh, what you can see here is that it consists of four integers only and every integer is between 0 to 255. Okay. So it means that if let's say I have three digit number and all of them are like three digit numbers and we have four three digit numbers, it turns out to be four into three that is 12. So I require only 12 digits. Okay. Apart from that, it, it is not valid for us and it turns out to be wrong for us. So we don't have to go beyond that. Even it is very large S turns out to be very small for us and thus we can directly use uh, like backtracking uh, for this problem because uh, we just have to use recursion for solving all this problem not too much because if you have to return different orders recursion is the very go-to tool we can use here okay so now how to come up with this solution for this problem okay so now what you can observe here is that uh, let us move down to our drawing board to make it more clear let us see that I have the first example that is this can I somehow paste this out yes I can cool yeah so what you can observe here is that if I take this can I again paste the size cool now what you can observe here is that in, in this example we have we have the option to make a point here okay let us take some other pen so that it will become more clear to you okay let us take a red pen i can make a point here i can make a point here i can make a point here and this is also valid because everything is between 2 to 255 less than or equal to that is fine so now how we can come up with the solution what you can observe is that I can use some sort of a pointer and this s string call this function here again in which what I'll do here is that I will keep like if I can tra keep track of some variable or like total sum and add every digit to it so let's say that it is on 2 then I will add 5 then I will add 5 okay or like I will first add 2 okay and then because it is valid I will take this and send the rest of the string for again finding out that I can put a two dot and then like divide this string into some valid part. So what I can do here is that I have to again make a uh, like a vector or some like stack whatever you can say or container to store out whatever is my current state of four because I need four numbers. So I have to store these four numbers somewhere. So I have to also take care of that. So I will push four into some container. So let's say the name is CC. I will push uh, two into that and then call the same function for this part of the string. The other call can be I can take two five and then uh, call the same function for the rest of the string and so on. Then two like two five five and then the rest of the string. Now it becomes two five five two. Then that is invalid because like I can make this for two five five and two. It should be between two five five and so on. So uh, uh, I, after that we just don't take any answer. Like the answer can be a, a two five like two five or two five five. Apart from that like we don't care about that so again i'll if you just go ahead that is the total uh, solution for this problem let us move on to the coding part now it will it is not too difficult to implement also i have used some code uh, so that it will become uh, very easy to understand that uh, this is ips this is the temporary variable and this is the answer and ips is the total uh, valid ips we have to give the output this is the uh, get ip address uh, function is called it will send temporary temporary is storing out our temporary numbers I've, I've told you that i have to require four numbers and ips are the total final answer okay okay then if at any point of time my index goes to the length of the string s 
and then my index like total temporary size becomes equal to four because I have to use the whole utilize I have to utilize the whole string as well as I have to keep track that the total temporary size app is equal to four because I have to divide the whole thing into four numbers. Okay. If that is possible, then what will happen? The total IP address I have is the first number dot second number dot third number dot fourth number. Okay. Then I will push that particular valid IP into the IPs, uh, uh, like vector uh, that is storing out a valid IP and it will return at that point. If that is not happened, then what I will do, I will iterate from the current starting point. So let's assume that I have used the first digit that is two, then I will send the rest of the numbers. So how I can do that? I can keep track of a pointer and send that. Okay. Now I've used till two, then send for the rest half. So, okay. So that, that is the value we are sending out that is index that is temporary. So I'll start from index go till this like end of the string. Okay. And I also have to keep track of the total indexes, the temporary numbers I've stored, it should be less than four. If I have already stored four numbers and it's no matter to go any further, I will get the point. So at any point of time, I just have to check that. Uh, I just add the current number in the temporary string. Okay. Then I have the numbers that is in string. I have to convert it to integer. If that particular integer is between zero and 255, then I will like take that number, insert that into a temporary vector and call that function again by incrementing my index. Cool. And uh, then after that, we have to backtrack. So we just again, like pop that number out from the temporary vector. And then uh, if at any point of time, my temporary variable becomes less than zero or becomes greater than 255, then that is invalid. We cannot take that as a number. So just break out of this for loop at that particular point. And that's the whole solution for this problem. Uh, it's not too difficult to implement. You just have to see that this is the main crux for this whole uh, like coding part because uh, as you can see that I'm just taking the temporary variable, uh, like taking the temporary number that, that is used for the IP, storing in the temporary variable uh, that is the vector and then like calling that function again and then like popping it out. So it's just a very general backtracking. Uh, I've already made a uh, like a whole series on backtracking. You can understand this whole by just going through that uh, whole uh, uh, series. Cool. So that's the whole solution and logic for this problem. If you still have doubts, you can mention down, uh, coming down to the space complexity where, as you can see that the, we are just making out vectors. These two vectors are sent. So these are two vectors. So O of N space complexity, as well as for the time complexity, we're treated with, treated with the whole string and we're just doing again, a, like a general DP way. Okay. We're just trying to put dots, but, uh, it will not go so it's just, just like a brute force way, but as you can observe is that we're not editing with the whole string because uh, that is not our whole zone. We are just like doing the whole operation for 12 digits. That is our answer. Cool. So that's the space complexity and string complexity for this problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention now. Thank you for watching the video. I'll send this one to link to coding and bye.